everyone, welcome back. Sushi's here, Echo's over there. Let's uh, get ready for some yoga. As always, please throw something comfortable on your body, grab water if you need it. If you are somebody who is more comfortable with props, feel free to grab those, whether that is a couple of blocks or any sort of stable surface to bring the ground up to you. If you are someone that prefers a pillow under your glutes to sit on or a bolster or something of that sort, please feel free to grab that as well. This is always your practice. I'm here to guide you, but anything that feels good on your body or feels better for you, please feel free to make adjustments as needed. Um, follow through the flow, but find that little creativity within yourself too to know what works best for you. All right, my friends, today we have a full body flow, full of life, moving through toes all the way up to our nose. So I hope you are ready um, and let's get on our mats, get comfortable and get started. Today, my friends, we'll be getting started all the way flat on our back. So please feel free to work your way down however feels right for you. Maybe extending those legs out long and laying right back or taking a gentler approach on our spines by keeping those feet on the mat and slowly rolling down. You always have the option to keep those knees bent and the feet flat on the mat, or if you're comfortable, you're more than welcome to extend them out long today. Take a moment just with your hands by your sides, taking a nice big exhale. Let go of your day. And inhale deeply, taking in all the breath you can, filling the lungs, filling the belly. And then exhaling, just slowly release. Inhale just as deep, filling through the chest, the belly, and exhale to release. One more just like that, inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, bring your right hand to heart center. Left hand rests on that belly. Take a nice big exhale. And then inhale to a count of four. Retain here for one, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Retain at the bottom, two, three, four, and inhale, two, three, four. Retain, and exhale, two, three, Four, retain, inhale, retain, exhale, retain, inhale, retain, Exhale, retain, inhale deeply, retain at the top, exhale fully, and retain at the bottom, inhale one more time, Retain, two, three, four. Exhale fully. And retain. On your next inhale, let go of the count. Bring the hands back by the sides, palms face up. One more nice big breath here. Exhale, let it go. 
And then as you're ready, finding a wiggle in the fingers and the toes, maybe drop the chin from side to side, taking just a moment here, reorienting with your body from the extremities all the way up through the center. And as you are ready, bring the soles of your feet up to the mat. Take a second to windshield wiper the knees gently side to side. Squeezing through that core as you transition back and forth. And then on your next inhale, either rocking your way up to seated or pressing in to one hand to push your way up off of that mat. Coming to any comfortable, easy seat that works for your body today. Um, something neutral is absolutely fine, like a Baddha bound angle. You can sit on your knees, which is what I'm going to do here. Or you can sit crisscross applesauce, but however feels good for you is absolutely what I want you to do today. So sitting up tall through that chest, squeeze through the core. Inhale, reaching both arms all the way up and open. Nice big reach to the sky. Let the chin gently lift, palms facing one another. Maybe that gaze drifts up. Maybe you close your eyes. Big breath in here. Let the shoulders rise up towards the ears. Exhale, shoulders relax down the spine. Good. Inhale one more time, rising them up. Exhale, retracting them back and down. One more big breath in, leaving the shoulders where they are, but reaching up through the mid back, through that low back. Exhale, palms face down, let them float towards the mat. Bringing the right fingertips to the mat wherever you're at. Inhale, left arm reaches up and over. Any sort of gentle side body stretch here is absolutely fine. Either palms down, maybe on tended fingertips or on a fist if you have a little bit of tenderness through your wrists from whatever other parts of your practice or your fitness experience you are going through. Inhale, reaching back up through center. Both arms arrive nice and tall. On your exhale, left hand comes over to the right knee. Right hand just tucks back behind the sacrum. Really gentle spinal twist, looking over towards the right or back over that shoulder, if that feels okay for you today. One more breath here. And then on an inhale, slowly rotating back through center. Take a moment, a little wiggle, a little adjust, pet a cat and then plant that left hand down on your left side as you're ready. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over. Relaxing into that side body stretch, remembering your options here, up on those fingers, maybe a fist. Anything that feels right for you today, maybe we close your eyes or maybe you glance up towards the ceiling. Good, squeeze through that core. Inhale, rising up through center, nice big reach. Exhale, right hand to left knee, left hand back behind the sacrum. Really gentle twist here. Looking over to the left or over that left shoulder. Good, one more breath. And then inhale, slowly coming back through center, sitting up tall here. If you need to adjust your seat, if sitting on your knees or how you're sitting doesn't feel right, please take this moment to do so. If you are sitting crisscross applesauce or with one leg in front or on top of the other, take this moment to switch them out just to keep those hips nice and even. Rest your hands wherever feels best for you on your knees, on your lap. Taking a big breath in. Exhale, we relax, chin to chest. Inhale, chin rises up towards the sky. And exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, rising up. Exhale down one more time. Inhale up. And exhale back down. 
When your chin meets chest, we're gonna inhale, rolling up right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, back down through center. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, back down to center. Good, inhale, rolling up to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale, rolling up to the left. And exhale, back down to center. One more each side. Inhale, rolling up. When you reach that ear to shoulder, complete the circle, go all the way around. Once chin meets chest, we inhale left ear to left shoulder and continue that all the way around in that direction. Good, once chin meets chest, inhale, sit up nice and tall. We're gonna take those hands down to the mat, coming in to a tabletop position from wherever you are at today. So taking a moment here, making any adjustments that you need, palms under those shoulders, knees under the hips. On your next inhale, dropping the belly, dropping the chest, letting that head rise for cow pose. Exhale, navel tucks up and in towards the spine, arching that back to a cat. Inhale, dropping the belly, dropping the chest, chin rises. Exhale, arching up and back. Inhale, taking it back into that cow pose, starting to follow your own breath here moving in a way and at a speed that feels right for your body today. No matter if you're practicing in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, knowing that your body is going to feel different at these different parts of our day. And taking a moment just to acknowledge that. Couple more rounds here, settling in, warming up the spine. One more round. On your next inhale, take the time to come back through to center. Nice flat back here. Reaching the left toes out behind us on the mat, planting the foot down, opening the left arm up and open. First, like a T, opening, feel the hip reaching up towards the ceiling, planting down through that outside edge of the foot. Gaze looks up. Big breath here. On your exhale, take that hand and drop it overhead, bringing the gaze down towards the bottom fingers, feeling that big reach from the toes all the way up through these top fingertips. That nice energy arriving, existing, creating that line that it can travel through your body here. One more nice big breath, really feeling the openness of the hips. Good. On your inhale, taking that arm back up to a nice T and then sinking back through that right glute to come into a seated tree pose or a single leg stretch here. So flexing through the left toes, right foot is tucked in to our body twisting our torso to stay in line with our hips. Inhale, big reach. On your exhale, I want you to fold through the center of your body. So not towards the toes, not towards the knees, but just finding that midline, keeping shoulders in line with our hips. Inhale, straighten through the spine, keeping that left foot flexed, so flat towards the wall or toes towards your nose. Exhale, sinking a little bit deeper, only if it feels good in your body, keeping that nice long spine. We spend a lot of our time hunched over, whether it's on a computer, a phone, driving. So take this moment to really keep that tall spine, keeping it active here. One more breath. Good, inhale, walking those hands back towards your body, twisting over towards the right to come on to that right knee and stepping the left foot back in for our tabletop position. 
Taking a moment here, plant those hands back under the shoulders, three more rounds of cat and cow. So inhale to drop that belly, drop the chest, chin rises. Exhale, navel tucks up and back towards the spine, let the head fall. Inhale, drop the belly, drop the chest, head rises. Exhale, arching up and back. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, coming back through center. This time we're gonna step those right toes out, so opening up in the other direction. You can see I'm swinging that left foot out and open to give me just a little bit more stability there. Reaching the arm up like a T first, pressing that hip open towards the sky just a little bit. And then as you're ready, reaching that arm overhead, chin comes down, looking towards those hands. Feel that line of energy from the right toes up through those right fingertips, keeping the hands strong here. No fish hands, don't cut it off. Settling in, feeling your body, feeling that stretch, that openness through the hip, through the hip, through the chest. Good. On your next inhale, hand comes up towards the sky. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So sinking those hips back and in, I'm gonna flip around here just so you can see me. But coming in to that seated tree here. So left foot is tucked in, right toes up towards the nose. Inhale, big reach, finding that lift, squaring off the hips and the shoulders. Exhale, this is where you find that fold. Hands can come in front of you, they can stay a little bit closer. Whatever feels good on your body is just fine here. Inhale, straightening through that spine, lifting through the chest, pulling it through those shoulders. Exhale, maybe sinking just a little bit deeper if that feels right on your body today. Relax the back of your neck so we're not straining up or down, but keeping our head in neutral with the rest of our spine. One more nice big breath here. Exhale, letting it go. Inhale, walking those hands back towards our body, shifting our weight onto that left knee to come back into your tabletop position, making any adjustments if that took you off your mat just a little bit here. Let's take those big toes together, the knees out nice and wide, send the hips back, hands reaching forward for child's pose, melting the head, neck, and chest down. Nice big stretch through those lats, your upper ribs here, relaxing down through the forehead, creating space, not just with your stretch and with your body, but with that breath, breathing in deeply, expanding through every area that needs it here. Give yourself permission to be still, knowing that it's okay to find these moments in our little moments of recovery in between other poses. We do not have to constantly move and constantly flow to have something be effective or good for our bodies. Giving me two more nice big breaths right here, really sinking in And on your next inhale, slowly peeling your way up off of the mat, taking a moment to adjust. We'll find our way into a down dog. Tucking those toes under, planting through the hands, shift the hips up and back, meeting me here for our first time. So relaxing, softening through the upper back, pressing the chest down a little bit closer to the mat but still getting that stretch through the calves, through the hamstrings, pressing in with all 10 of those finger pads, making contact here with as many parts 
of our hands as we can. Maybe you take a moment and walk those heels after you're settled in, stretching one leg, then the other. And then taking just one more moment of stillness of breath right here. On your next inhale, looking forward between those hands, shifting the weight forward, high plank. Taking it into a chaturanga, tucking the elbows in. Inhale, up dog, pressing up and open. Exhale, returning to our down dog. On your next inhale, looking forward between those hands, stepping both feet up, forward fold. Nice big breath in and out right here, keeping a gentle bend through those knees for our first fold today. Maybe a nod, yes or no, through the back of that neck. On your next inhale, take a very slow reach all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands arriving at heart center in your own time. Inhale, nice big reach. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, step both feet back, high plank. Exhale, running it through our vinyasa, so chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, looking forward between those hands, step both feet up, forward fold. Taking a moment here, bending those knees, we're gonna plant the left hand into the mat, keeping the left knee bent, straighten that right leg. Inhale, right arm reaches up and open, IT band stretch. Deepen your breath here, holding just a little bit longer, settle in. On your next exhale, top arm comes down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, full fold, letting it go. Inhale, big sweep of those arms all the way up and open to the sky. Exhale, hands arrive, heart center. Inhale, nice big reach. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, step both feet back into your high plank. Option here to send it back into your down dog or take your vinyasa, running it through that chaturanga, up dog, down dog, meeting us here. And this time we're gonna find an inhale, walking those fingers back to the toes, meeting you at the back of your mat, forward fold. This time, taking that bend through both of those knees, right hand plants down as our right knee stays bent. Left leg goes straight, left arm reaches up and open. IT band stretch on the other side. So finding that nice big reach here, opening through the chest. All right, taking one more breath for me, settle in. Exhale, fingertips return to that mat forward fold. Take a big bend through those knees, grab opposite elbows, let the head hang in the middle. Maybe a little rock. Side to side. On your next exhale, hands hang down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, reaching those arms all the way back up and open to the sky. Palms face one another here, tall through the chest. Engage that core, sinking back through the hips for chair pose. Always an option to bring those hands to heart center if this feels better on your body. Inhale, nice big reach all the way to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, walking those hands back on out. Find your high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. 
Inhale, sweeping that right leg up and back behind us, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it all the way through, low lunge. Finding a moment here, inhale, lifting up through those arms for a crescent lunge, taking a big breath in. Exhale, sinking deeper into that front knee, relax the shoulders away from the ears. One more breath. On your exhale, hands return down to the mat, dropping the back knee down. If you need a pad or to fold over the back edge of your mat, take a moment here to go ahead and do that. And then as you're ready, you're always welcome to leave your hands on the mat, but maybe you take a moment interlacing them, pressing them in to the top of that thigh, really pressing the hips forward, chest stays proud. Lifting up through the chin, finding just a gentle baby back bend here, getting into the front of that hip flexor. Good, exhale, hands come back down to the mat. Tuck the back toes under, lifting just enough to send both legs straight for pyramid pose. Hands are always welcome to walk up onto those shins if that feels better for you today. Taking just a few more breaths right here. And then finding an inhale, pressing in, bend through that right knee, lifting the arms up, finding warrior one. If you need to step the back foot in a little bit closer to find your warrior or a little bit further to go a little bit deeper, that is a-okay. Arms are reaching up towards the sky, chest in line with those hips here. Sinking in, chest stays proud. Good, inhale, straining through the front leg, opening out, warrior two. Arms reach out like a nice big T. Hips stay in line with those shoulders opening to the side of our room. Gaze is still over that front middle finger. Inhale, front leg goes straight. Slide the right hand down the leg. Left arm reaches up and open for triangle. Slowing down that breath here. Sinking in. Good, on your next exhale, left hand returns down to the mat, shifting that weight to bring the left toes here. Sweep the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Opening out through that hip, stack the knee on top of those hips, nice big stretch. Exhale, toes return to the mat, down dog. Option to stay right here, or maybe you take your vinyasa, bringing it forward into a high plank, taking your chaturanga, up dog and down dog. And then as you're ready, sinking in, let's find a nice big inhale, lifting through that left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it all the way through, low lunge. Inhale, finding your balance, reach those arms all the way up and open for crescent lunge. Softening through those shoulders, strong fingers, tall chest. Good. Finding one more breath here. Exhale, hands return to the mat, dropping that right knee down. Finding our balance here, always an option to take this moment to grab a pad. Walking the hands up on that thigh, interlacing gently, pressing in to the leg, stretching open through that hip. Maybe a baby back bend, lifting the chin, the chest towards the sky, stretching through that hip. Good, and one more breath. And then coming back through center, planting the hands down, tucking those toes under, bringing the heel to the mat to send both legs straight, pyramid pose. Breathing in nice and deep. Maybe walking those hands up onto the shin if that feels better for you here or taking 
your moment with your props, blocks, paint cans, buckets, whatever you've got, you can use them here. One more breath. And then finding that shift of weight, bending through the left knee, reach the arms up and open warrior one, making any adjustments to that stance that you need to with the feet. Strong through the chest, strong through the core. We won't be here long, so hold on tight for me. One more breath. And then we open out into that warrior two. So shifting open, hips in line with those shoulders, opening the gate, so to speak, finding that openness through the chest, the shoulders towards the side of the room. Arms are reaching in opposite directions, gaze over that front middle finger. On your next inhale, left leg goes straight, left arm reaches down the leg to the ankle, right arm reaches up to the sky, triangle. One more breath. Exhale, right hand comes back down to the mat, tuck those right toes under. Inhale, sweep the left leg. Up and back, three-legged dog, bending through that heel to open towards the side of the room. Exhale, coming back down through center, returning to our down dog. An option here to run through that flow, that vinyasa, or keep it in our down dog. So maybe we shift it forward, high plank, chaturanga, up dog, and our down dog. And taking just a couple of breaths here, always an option to drop it down into a child's pose if you need to. Wherever you are at, we're going to spend three nice big breaths here. Breathing in nice and deep. Expanding and releasing. Last breath. On your next inhale, slowly working your way up into your down dog if you are in that child's pose. Shifting our weight. Finding an inhale, reach the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping it through low lunge. Drop that back knee down right away here, interlacing those fingers, returning them to our thigh, pressing in, lifting through that chest, baby back bend. Inhale, coming back through center, planting the left hand down, right arm reaches up and open to the sky. Still keeping that knee stacked over the ankle. Exhale, returning the right arm to the mat, but coming to the inside of the right leg, heel toeing that foot to the outside edge of your mat for lizard. Just a couple breaths here, sinking those hips forward and down. One more breath right here. Good, inhale, tucking. The left toes under, lifting that knee, walking the hands back over, heel toeing the foot into center. Drop the heel, returning to our pyramid pose, melting in to that stretch just a little bit deeper this time. Good, when you're ready, find that weight shift, bending through the knee, inhale, reaching up and open, warrior one. Keeping those shoulders, those hips stacked in the same direction. Palms are strong, facing one another. On your next inhale, let's open out, finding our warrior two, shifting the weight toward or evenly through the feet, arms out like a T. On your next inhale, left hand comes down to the thigh or tucks back behind the sacrum. Right arm reaches up and back for reverse warrior. 
Inhale, coming back to our warrior two. Straighten through that front leg, right arm slides down, triangle. On your next exhale, left hand comes back down to the mat. Tuck those right or left toes under to sweep the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, toes return to the earth. Inhale, left leg sweeps up and back. Find that big reach. Exhale, stepping it all the way through, low lunge. Dropping that knee down right away here, finding that balance when you're ready to walk your interlaced hands up onto that knee. Chest reaches proud, shoulders in line with those hips. Reaching forward, lifting the chin, little baby back bend. Good, inhale, coming back through center. Right hand plants down to the mat. Left arm reaches up and open. Good, finding that flow, bringing the left hand back down to the inside of the left leg. Heel towing our left foot to the outside edge of the mat, sinking the hips down into lizard. Relax the back of your neck here. Breathing in nice and deep. One more breath. And then as you're ready, we're gonna bring that foot back to center, tuck the back toes under, sending both legs straight, working our way into our pyramid. Hands on the mat or up on that shin, whatever feels best for you today. As you're ready, bending through that front knee, keeping the back heel down, reaching up and open, warrior one, sinking into that front leg just a little bit deeper, and then finding our inhale to open up warrior two. Breathing in nice and deep here, palms are strong, fingers active. When you're ready, right hand drops either onto the thigh or back behind the sacrum, inhale, left hand reaches up and back for our reverse warrior. Inhale, returning to warrior two. And then as you're ready, straighten through that front leg, slide the left hand down. Right arm reaches up and open to the sky for a triangle. One more breath right here. And then as you're ready, right hand comes back down to the mat, tuck the right toes under to sweep the left leg up and back. Taking those toes back down to the earth, dropping the knees down, big toes together, knees up nice and wide, sending it back, child's pose. You have the option here to stay in your down dog if that's something that's in your practice or feels better for you today. You want practice with a little more heat. Down dog is sort of an active recovery where child's pose brings you into that nice full recovery. So whatever you are looking for today either is fine. Melting in and down. We're gonna take two more nice big breaths here, extending that recovery wherever we're at. And then on your next inhale, we're peeling our way back on up to our down dog. Inhale, looking forward between those hands, stepping both feet up, forward fold. Inhale, rise the arms all the way back up and open to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, find your big reach. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, stepping both feet back. Find that high plank. Option to run through your flow. Chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. And then as we're ready, inhale, right leg shifts up and open, three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping it through, low lunge. On your inhale, finding our high crescent. On your next inhale, shifting the weight into that front leg, taking a kickstand through the front feet, bringing the hands backwards, finding a little shift through those hips, flex the left toes. Inhale, returning to our high crescent, find that balance. Exhale, hands return down to the earth. Inhale, right foot sweeps up and back. Exhale, toes to the mat. Inhale, left leg reaches up and open. Exhale, stepping it through, low lunge. Inhale, reaching all the way up, crescent. And we're gonna find that kickstand here, reaching the arms backwards. When you're ready, bringing the weight into that left leg. Modified warrior three. Inhale, finding that balance, touching the right toes down, high crescent. Exhale, hands return to the earth. Inhale, left leg sweeps up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, toes return to the mat. Inhale, right leg sweeps up and open. Exhale, drawing that knee over towards the right elbow. Hover, hold here. And then as you're ready, drop it down into your pigeon. Shifting those hips so they're squared off with the front of the mat. We're not shifting into one side or the other with our weight. Tall through the chest. Big breath in. On your exhale, maybe you walk down onto those forearms if that's in your practice or working just a little bit deeper in any way that feels good for you. Just a few more breaths here. Let yourself sink in and down. Finding how deep you like to go today or how deep your body is asking you to go today. Pigeon is one of those postures that changes every day we step into it. One more breath. And then on your next inhale, slowly walking your way up onto those hands. Take your time, tucking the back toes under, lifting that knee, sending the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, toes to the mat. Inhale, left leg sweeps up and open. Exhale, taking it through, left knee towards that left elbow, holding here for three, two, and then dropping it down as you're ready. Finding your pigeon, lifting up through the chest. Nice big reach. And exhale, sinking those elbows down if it's in your practice. Relaxing in to the mat, stretching those legs. Taking a moment. Knowing that you spending time on your mat just for you today is all that matters. Taking a little time to pay attention to your body in whatever way you are. Drawing a little more attention to your breath finding a moment just to move. Take a couple more breaths right here. And 
then on your next inhale, slowly walking your way up onto those hands, tucking the toes under, lifting through that right knee to shift the left leg up and open, three-legged dog. Exhale, toes return to the earth. When you're ready, dropping those knees to the mat and coming on to your bottom in any way that feels good for you. Once again, returning all the way on to the earth with our bodies, relaxing all the way down. Always an option to keep those knees bent anytime we're on the mat, but we're all gonna bring those feet nice and flat, zipping the legs together like they're tied by a zipper. Arms are coming into cactus arms today, or goalpost arms, a bend through those elbows, palms face up. On your exhale, dropping both knees over to the right, letting your chin either stay in neutral or fall over towards the left, only if it feels good on your spine. Couple more breaths right here, settling in, letting your body grow heavy underneath you, letting things soften. And then on your next inhale, squeeze through that core, come back through center, take a second to readjust and drop those knees over to the left chin stays in neutral or maybe drifts over towards the right only if it feels good on your neck and your spine today. Breathing in through your nose and out your nose, starting to deepen that breath, maybe finding four counts in and out like we did at the beginning or just matching your inhale to your exhale. One more breath. And then on an inhale, coming back through center. Take a moment to send the legs out long if it feels good for you, bringing those palms face up by your sides. Taking a nice big exhale, let the body grow heavy, relaxing down through the shoulders, hands, toes through the belly, hips, and knees, through the crown of your head, forehead, and jaw. Softening the body as a whole. And deepening your breath, becoming aware of your breath, but not forcing it in any way, any direction. Just knowing that you have the ability to expand and contract all on your own autonomously with the ability to check in anytime you please. Close your eyes if they aren't already and bring your attention up to the point between your eyebrows, your Ajna Chakra or your third eye. And focusing here as deeply as you can will now spend these next few moments in silent meditation.
When you're ready, begin to bring your attention back to your breath. Finding a little wiggle through the fingers and the toes. Reawakening and reorienting in any way that feels right for you. Maybe taking a nice full body stretch, pointing the toes, spreading the fingers. And then on an inhale, hugging those knees all the way up and into the chest. Give them a nice big squeeze, lifting the chin up. A little rock side to side. And grabbing right behind those knee joints today, finding a gentle rock up to seated. Finding any comfortable, easy seat so we can end our practice together. Thank you all so very much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are in the world. I'll see you next time. Om Shanti, Om Peace, and Namaste.